I moved here from Arizona about seven years ago to Chicago. So my idea was like, okay, in this gym, whenever I see a new person, I'm going to say hello to them. And so John was just like one of these people that I was like, oh, I've never seen him before. I'm gonna introduce myself. So that's kind of how we first met. When I met her, I had just started CrossFit. She was a lot of motivation I had to keep going to CrossFit at first. There's this really pretty lady on the foam rollers every day. I wanna to talk to her and learn more about her and it seems to have worked. Today is May 28th, 2021. My daughter, Shar's wedding. John and Shar are getting married today. Oh my gosh, and Shar and John are getting married. We are the Renaissance Hotel in downtown Chicago. I like my shoes. Yeah, I do. I like your socks, actually. No, right? Look at my slippers. Mm, matchy, matchy. <laughs> Hashtag Wallace in the park. Hashtag Wallace in the park, like waltz in the park, but Wallace. John is just very happy-go-lucky, always super positive. Her Prince Charming, we know him as Mr. Biceps. Biceps, quads, traps, wad. He's an extremely hard worker. He's a great guy. He's very smart. He's talented. Very kind, smart, and caring. I agree. That's, that's John. How thoughtful he is and how open he is to friendship and just always there. He is the sweetest man ever and he's a great dancer. <laughs> Spontaneous. Fun. Easy going. Just great guy. He likes to laugh, whether it's at himself he'll, or... He'll, yes, he'll laugh yeah. at himself or with himself. Would I date John? I don't think so. I would friend zone him though, because he's a great friend. John is as goofy and silly and sometimes aggravating as he is. Like, you know he's going to be there for you when you really need him. So, he's a really true friend. Shara is so cool that I kind of feel like she's our daughter too. Shara is amazing. She's got a good eye for some of the little details that are important. Shara is one of my best friends. She's one of the kindest, most supportive people that I know. She's also very hilarious when drunk, so there's that. <laughs> she's hilarious, ridiculously smart, and she's just so weird, <laughs> and I love her. Just so joyous and jovial brilliantly bright, and just a really kind soul. Very kind and very considerate. And she learned a lot of stuff for herself. She's a very smart girl. Proud of her. Fun, exciting, caring. Is she goofy? She is. Well, I just remember the one time she texted me, Penny, I love you so much, but please take your turn in our video game. <laughs> She can step into a room and easily command the attention of everyone, which is what she did with stepping into our group. It's true. She fit right in, I will say that. Oh my gosh. She is just like a ray of sunshine. She's so positive and like, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> she is so loyal and so kind. She's such a great role model. This will be just like Colin is with us. When our friends were gonna get married, I asked them permission if I could propose to Shara on their boat cruise, similar to the one we're doing for our wedding, because it was taking place on the river right near an area of Chicago that we spent like one of our first nights hanging out on that bridge, listening to music and watching we fireworks. We went to a birthday party, and on the walk home, we were on the Columbus Street Bridge. The fireworks went off, and he was playing like Flume or Dessa or something on his phone and we were like listening to it on the bridge, like look at the fireworks. And I was like, is he gonna try to kiss me? Like this is a really good moment. And he didn't, he didn't try to kiss me. <laughs> and so I decided I needed to fix that moment by then taking her back to that bridge under the fireworks and this time 
make sure I got it right. So that's when I decided it was the perfect proposal moment. for them yeah. and I think they match each other's energy oh my gosh they're like the ultimate team they're like relationship goals man literally the perfect couple congratulations I'm so happy that the wedding day is here I'm super super excited I just want to wish you the most beautiful day and the happiest ever after you guys deserve it I love you both so much Why am I the luckiest guy in the world to marry Shara? Because she's literally the coolest person I know. She's the most empathetic person and she really does make me a better person every single day. I love his heart. He has a big, loving, caring, sensitive, romantic heart. When I think of John, I think of a burst of sunlight that comes into a room. He just has this light that he emits that is warm and loving and happy. And I want to be around that all the time. Oh, wow, pretty lady alert. Oh my God. Do you like my dress? Babe, it is beautiful. That is gorgeous. I totally get what you're going for. That's incredible. I can't believe it. And I decided to go with my- Oh yes, the hunter boots! Perfect! Whoa, you are stunning. We are gathered here to celebrate Shara and John and to celebrate Mailwitch. Marriage, yes. This is a quote that makes me think of Shara and John. We are all a little weird, and life is a little weird. When we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we join up with them and fall into mutually satisfying weirdness and call it love. That's love. John, do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect Shara for as long as you both shall live? I do. And Shara, do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect John for as long as you both shall live? I do. You may now kiss the bride. forward to seeing everyone. It's just nice to get together again. We've all been apart for so darn long. The dancing. Oh, and the cake. There's any cake, right? The dinner boat is also what I'm really excited about. <laughs> the dancing, for sure. I have ripped my pants at at least three different weddings, so let's hope it goes to number four today. Okay, first of all, we're not drunk. It's the boat swaying. <laughs> 
Good evening and welcome everyone. It's my pleasure to introduce Shara and John. thank everybody for joining us tonight. For those of you who came to the ceremony, stood in the rain to watch the wedding, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, let's eat, drink, dance. Shara, you look amazing tonight, as you always do. Give it up. Shara, I love you so much. I see so much good in you, and you are my best friend. I'm so happy for you. I remember when she first met John. The sparkle in your eyes has not left it since. There comes a time in everyone's life when they meet their one true love, their soulmate. As we all know, that moment came for John 20 years ago when he met me. And we've been best friends ever since. John is one of the most genuine guys I know, and underneath all that muscle is a giant teddy bear who cares a whole heck of a lot about the people around him. John's taught me a lot over the years, including how to put yourself out there, how to have fun, and most importantly, how to dance in front of a room full of people and not care what anyone thinks. Because you know what? That's the person that's having the best time. And that's how John lives his life every single day. I was lucky enough to have met Shara before they were a couple. It was quite amazing. I had stopped at John's apartment. She was there and I was like, oh my God, there is something amazing going on. Some electricity. And I said to John, I have never seen so much connection between two people in my entire life. If you refuse to pay attention to what that connection is, you may lose the soulmate, the person that is meant to be yours. I said, so please, just follow your heart. And one week later, they were together. If you are in love, that is a good thing. That's about the best thing that can ever happen to anyone. Don't let anybody make it smaller like to you. And that is what I wish you guys the most happiest ever, ever. And I'm so happy for you both. Shara, it absolutely fills my heart with joy to see that you've met somebody who's unquestionably better than every man you've been with in the past. <laughs> and treats you with the love and respect that you honestly deserve. And so, cheers. Shara, thank you for being the best thing that's ever happened to my best friend. <laughs> I couldn't be happier for you two. Cheers to John and Shara. Shara, when we first met, I thought, this girl is freaking gorgeous, but she's way too cool for me to have any chance. And then something incredible happened. My friend Shara, we were inseparable. John, you and I both know I'm not the rom-com hopeless romantic type, but that summer day when Jake asked me what you and I were, I screamed friends. 
only then to see our future milestones of a first kiss, first date, meeting my parents, buying a house. That day I realized we are the rom-com. I promise to never stop living our rom-com, to make out in the rain or race through the airport. John, I could watch you for a lifetime. You are my favorite movie. I love you just the way you are. A cinema. A cinema. <laughs> There's an infinite amount of things I love about you. Your empathetic nature, your energy, this electricity you bring into a room simply by walking in. My friend Shara, who is now my love, Shara, I'll spend the rest of my life trying to convince myself I'm not living in a dream. You expand my horizons. You make me a better person. I love you.